I've been using the Sony A7R III professionally for over two years now. The main reason why I decided to go with this camera is that I wanted the extra resolution for photos. Plus, I also do video work, so I needed a camera that can handle both in all situations including low light shooting. In this video, I want to specifically show you how well the Sony A7R III performs in low light as a video camera. Hey, I'm Tom Shu. I've been making videos and taking photographs professionally for a while now. I quit my corporate consulting job in 2018 to create my first documentary short film, Spirit of Mazu. Since then, I've had the opportunity to work on a variety of different projects around the world. Even though in 2021 the Sony A7R III is an older camera now, it's still an awesome camera for video. This is especially true if you're a run and gun type of shooter who creates both photography and video content. On the video side, it can shoot pretty good quality video in both 1080p for slow motion and in 4K. Most importantly for me, it has incredible battery life, it's easy to customize and use, and always consistently delivers on quality. Now let's go over the settings that I used in the cinematic video you're about to see. All the low light video clips were shot handheld during my projects in Japan and Vancouver. Everything was shot in either 4K 24fps or 1080p at 60fps. The lens that I used for the entire video was the Sony 24-70mm f2.8 and it was shot wide open for the entire video. In some of the Japan video clips you'll see light flickering. Now just to be clear this isn't from the camera. The flickering happened because I had chosen the wrong settings and I didn't take into account the different light frequencies in Japan. There's a lot more I could say about this camera, but for now, enjoy this cinematic video. <laughs> 